Welcome to this quick demonstration of creating um, editable PDFs using FormMaker. Editable PDFs uh, are an Adobe uh, feature and um, they're also called fillable PDFs. They just let you create uh, a PDF that you can send to somebody else and they can uh, fill the PDF in, uh, save it and return it to you. So you can do that without using FormMaker. So you create the PDF with FormMaker but you can use it um, just with, anybody can use it as long as they have Adobe, uh, an Adobe Reader. So we'll start off by creating a form and uh, give it a name. There we go. We'll go into the settings for the form. And here we have to say that the PDF type is editable. Okay, so the three choices are unscaled, scaled, and editable. And an editable form is a fillable form. And um, so we go into design mode. Now the important thing with fillable forms is they fit within the screen size of your iPad or iPhone. So they you don't you can't create a very long form, a form longer than the screen. Um, otherwise the bottom part will be chopped off. So a fillable form has got to fit within the iPad screen, which may mean that you need multiple pages, which is a better way to uh, add a lot of content. So you can add a page just with the add page button. Uh, but here I'll just create a single page, uh, simple fillable form. So let's drag on a couple of, uh, a few uh, text entry fields and uh, a choice, and we'll add a couple more uh, answers there. Uh, let's make it uh, two columns wide. There we are. And then maybe add another couple of fields. Let's clone this field and clone that one and clone that one. So as you can see we've got uh, quite a few uh, fields there and um, so I'll save that. I won't bother with any of the labels or any of the uh, you know questions and answers or whatever. Um, we'll just make it very simple. So that, that saved the form. Now in order to create the, the editable, editable PDF I need to run the form and uh, at least once. So I run it and I have to press the little tick at the top as per usual with FormMaker to make it save that result. So there we are, that's created um, a result. And we can go into the results screen as per normal and um, have a look at that. There it is. Uh, but if I hop over to, normally you'd, you'd uh, email this off to somebody else at this point. Um, but here, because I'm using the simulator on a Mac, we'll just uh, drag in the PDF that that just created. So there we are, that's the PDF that's just been created. And as you, this is using Adobe Reader. So as you can see, I can, once it gets around to sorting itself out, create um, the text as you would expect. And I could then save that um, as per normal with Adobe Reader. Um, and that would save it as a PDF, and then you can, they, your user can then email that back to you if that's what you're after. So that's editable PDFs, and uh, the main points are we don't uh, really control any of the way that this looks on the actual PDF itself because that's controlled by Adobe. So don't complain to us that you don't like the tick, or you know you don't like the fact that a Notepad field, for instance, will just be one line thick. It's nothing to do with us. We can't really control that. Um, obviously, as this gets better with um, iOS, this is just a new feature of iOS 11, and you will need iOS 11 to do this. So it's a new feature of iOS 11, and no doubt it'll get better as time goes on. But that's basically what you have now, and it's pretty handy, pretty useful. Um, so that's editable or fillable PDF forms using FormMaker.